Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with yet another video effect from AVS Video Editor Tutorial. Today we are focusing on the snow video effect, and the snow video effect is much more than it seems, and I'm about to show you what that is about. So, let's go ahead and pick ourselves a quick clip. And I'll pick this one, let's mute it, just because it has some music in it. So we're going to pull down our snow video effect here, and right away, as you can obviously um, expect, it makes snow fall. And you notice that there is also a drift at the bottom of the snow, which I thought was pretty cool. And there's some other stuff that you can do with the snow. So let's press Edit Effect, and let's see what we can do with this. So right away, um, you'll notice you have a bunch of options here. Of course, you have your typical mask options, which I don't really use for the snow. Then you have the size. Now, this is particularly just snow. There is another video effect that has falling particles, which we'll get to later, which has this very similar layout, but a little different settings to it. So this is the snow one. You can increase the size of the actual snow particles, which if you increase it all the way, it almost gets completely white. And you can also decrease them really small, so it's almost like a little speck of dust on your screen. So let's go about halfway. Let's just go about 25, just to make it... Now let's go a little bit less than that. Let's go 20. So there we go. You can also increase or decrease the count of them. So more numerous or less numerous. So let's have our count a little bit less than that. Let's Let's just have our count at 150 particles on the screen, and the direction in which they fall. Now, this is very interesting. So right now the default is falling down, which is zero. But if you let's say increase it to 45, you will notice that they will fall at a 45 degree angle. In the same way, if you do negative 45, they'll fall the other way. So let's just have it at about uh, let's just say a 23 degree angle. Just so it's at a little bit of an angle going to the right. And the deviation. The deviation is very interesting. Um, Wait, what was the deviation again? Hold on, I gotta figure out what the deviation is. I th I'm pretty sure the deviation, what it does, if you notice the particles, let's see if we can capture this again. So see how the particles are falling straight down to the right and they're spinning? But if we increase the deviation all the way, the particles are now uh, going to different sides. So half the particles are going to the right, half the particles are falling to the left. So that's the deviation of the particles. So let's actually increase the deviation all the way. And the speed is obviously self-explanatory. It's the speed at which they fall. So if we increase that all the way, lots and lots of particles are falling all at once. Very fast. So let's decrease that a little bit. Uh, might be a little too slow right there. And there you go. That seems pretty good. And so now the color. You can obviously change the color of it. You can pick whatever color, make your own colors. And uh, yeah, let's just pick orange for some reason. Let's pick orange. And the snow drift. The snow drift is really cool. If you notice that throughout this video clip at the bottom here, there makes a little snow pile at the bottom. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, so it doesn't make that drift. I'm going to keep it on just because it looks really cool. And the alpha is just the opacity of the actual snow. So if we increase it all the way, you'll notice that's very bright, but if we decrease it all the way down, you can barely see it, but it's still there. So let's increase it all the way up because this is focusing on the video itself. So there we go. That is pretty much the snow to it. It specifically is snow. There is another video effect down here. Let's see if we can find it real quick. The particle effect, very similar to it. We're going to get to that later. So if you guys stay tuned for that. But it's very similar to what the snow is. And oh, I forgot to show you guys. It is the fade in, fade out. Let's focus on the fade in, fade out real quick. So when you fade in with the snow, you'll notice that the actual opacity of it will fade in, not the actual snow itself. So, yeah, it's just the transparency of it will fade in and fade out. Nothing special, pretty typical of some of these video effects. So there you have it. That is the snow video effect. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. There are plenty more video effects to cover, and especially focusing on the park one, which is very similar. Can't wait to get to that one because there's some cool stuff with that. Plenty more cool ones to come, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.